album album coming out in about six weeks and a new song coming out in two weeks. Um, Over the past few years, two old man rap duos have popped up out of nowhere and taken the internet by storm. Pete and Baz from the UK and Frank and Maury from the USA. Pete and Baz burst onto the scene in 2018 with a single Shut Your Mouth and have followed up with 11 tracks since, garnering millions of views and streams. They've even linked up with one of the biggest UK drill rappers, M24, on a collab. That's how much of a real life impact they've had on the scene. Across the pond, Frank and Maury first appeared in late 2019 on World Star Hip Hop with their debut track, Money Talks. They've since released two more tracks, boasting a combined 15 million plus views across all three videos on YouTube. And as you might expect, because these guys popped up out of nowhere, there's been a lot of discussion online, particularly on Reddit, about who they are, where they came from, who writes the bars, if it's really them even on the vocals, and there's lots of theories. So I decided to take it upon myself to do a bit of research and try and find out who's really behind these guys, try and solve the mystery and answer these online rumours. And surprisingly, I actually managed to do it. I actually managed to find that missing part and, and like solve the mystery. So let's get to it and let's answer some of these online rumours. You might be wondering why I'm including both of these duos in the one video. And that's where I can confirm one of the online rumours. Yes, the same people are behind Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury. And as you might have guessed from the clip I played at the start of this video, I managed to get in touch with those people. Cool, yeah. So let me take you through some of the most popular online theories first before I get right into how I actually got in touch with the people behind Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury. One of the most popular theories is that it's an already famous rap act behind Pete and Baz. Some of the names that come up often are The Manor, Cass is Dead and President T. I can see the logic behind a couple of these names. Pete and Baz supported The Manor at a few live shows and their flow does have quite a lot in common with the way Cass is Dead spits but I can confirm pretty confidently that it's definitely not the manor or Cass is dead. Cool, yeah, I always like to check when it's not, it's not too easy to find a No, it, it's, it's really not, it's yeah. really not. And a lot of the, the conversations online still, you know, seem to think it's the manor or Cass is dead or something that's, you know, running I know, yeah. I know, I know, I But I wouldn't rule out the fact that it is some sort of rapper on some level recording the vocals for them both rather than it actually being the old guys themselves. In fact, I'm pretty confident that the person that does the vocals for Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury is the same person. People have already brought this up online, talking about how the flow is similar, even some of the phrases that they use are the same, and Frank and Maury's American accent doesn't sound all that convincing. And now that I know that both of the duos are ran by the same person, it makes a lot of sense that it would be the same person recording the vocals. So as I'm editing this, Pete and Baz have just dropped a new thing with Fumes the Engineer that claims to show them actually rapping a cappella in the booth, but I'm not going to lie, I still think that's dubbed. So I know you're going to say it in the comments, so I had to add this in quickly, but I still think that's dubbed. Um, yeah. Another online theory, and probably the most plausible of them all, is the Sindhu World link. Basically, there's a lot of talk that it's the people who used to run an Instagram account called Sindhu World that created Pete and Baz, and furthermore, Frank and Maury. The Sindhu World Instagram account gained fame in 2017 because a zany corner shop owner, Sindhu, would post weird but funny stuff about his day-to-day -day life running a corner shop, and this is the first time we'd see Pete and Baz on a public platform. This was a year before Pete and Baz put out the first music video, so it would make sense that the Sindhu World lot may have brought them together through music. The pair even allude to it in this 2019 interview. First off, I just want to find out, what's your inspiration? How do you guys get into this? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Peter will tell you about it. Okay, yeah, right. It's very good. Um, I got a call once in a job I was doing about this shop. Yeah. And we were told that they were making illicit alcohol. Okay. And my job involved me going to check on this. So I went there and checked on it and found out they were just making fruit juice for the local kids. <laughs> all they were doing but I heard this strange noise coming from the back room so I thought what the oh what so f is that <laughs> mm. and I went in there and found this young man yeah. playing the piano he needs some glasses yeah. <laughs> and the Sindhu World logo features at the start of the window frame cipher video and they're credited for direction 
but the Instagram account hasn't posted since 2019, so, you know, I'm not too sure. However, it's obvious to me that the whole Instagram account was only semi-real. The people featured, like the Pete and Baz that we know now, are characters. People playing roles that are virtually complete works of fiction. It was having this thought and a little more online digging that led to my actual breakthrough. So I ended up finding the site of an independent British media company that openly boasts about creating the characters that are Pete and Baz. The site says, curating a new image for two 70 year old men, writing, recording and producing a series of songs, directing and filming a series of music videos. And it refers to Pete and Baz as a project and calls them artists only in quotation marks as to suggest that, you know, they're not really the guys making the music. So this company, they're more than just videographers or managers. They literally created the Pete and Baz persona from the ground up. The music, the videos, the, the look, you know, the backstory that they tell in interviews, all of it was created by this company. The homepage states that the company is run by two brothers that are multidisciplinary creatives with backgrounds in marketing, creative directing, graphic design, music production, and film production. So basically everything you'd need to make these characters and build this world around them. It also states that they created Frank and Maury. Clearly seeing the success they had in the UK, they just replicated the project for a US audience. The page also provides a phone number, and that's one of the main reasons I chose to keep the name of the company and the page anonymous. I'm thinking they might take their website down after this video because when I called the guy, he seemed pretty surprised that I knew the name of the company and got his mobile number from that. So it might be an older website potentially. So I gave him a call up and we chatted about it. I told him that I wanted to do like a mini documentary video about Pete and Baz and he agreed to do it, but I would be playing along. So I would, you know, be playing along with the Pete and Baz story, potentially interviewing Pete and Baz, interviewing this guy, pretending that he was a manager and keeping him anonymous. Um, and yeah, that was the initial plan, but he just never got back to me. So I just made the video the way I was originally planning it, but I hope I've done it in such a way that it doesn't expose them fully. It just lets you in on what's actually happening and the fact that Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury are massive works of fiction, which I'm sure a lot of you already knew. Anyway, here's the conversation. Hello, is this... Yeah, no problem at all, yeah. And uh, no bother at all, mate, no bother at all. Um, I I'm just calling basically because um, I'm looking to do a little kind of mini documentary bit. Basically. Yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. No on, um, you know, the kind of phenomenon of Pete and Baz and, and Frank and Maury. And I wondered if yeah. you'd be interested in, you know, doing a little interview and, and, and talking about it you know, in a, in a way that doesn't kind of compromise the, the project. Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I, I, um, as long as it wouldn't reveal anything that I don't want to reveal, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Because, yeah. I, yeah, I wanted to do it in a way where obviously it, it didn't kind of, like I say, compromise what's going on. And I, I guess I could even frame it in a way that you were there, I don't know, manager or something, but just hide the identity of, of the actual company itself. Like, just talk about it from a kind of managerial standpoint and a creative standpoint. Um, yeah. Where, what, what's it for? Where would it go? Uh, basically, I, I run a YouTube um, channel called Ride Music. We've been covering kind of hip hop and grime and stuff for the last five or six years, and I wanted to make a mini documentary and put it on there. Um, so, yes, yeah, yeah, I reached yeah. out a couple of days ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it sounds interesting, though. Sounds good. If I go away and, like, think of a few questions and kind of a way to frame it and then email you again, should we just go from there and, and set something up? Yeah, 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 that sounds, sounds good to me. I, um, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that and we can figure it out. I, I mean, usually, yeah, I'd say I'm the manager or the producer, so I guess we could. Yeah, I think fr that framing it in that way would be 
would be the best way to do it. Cool, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. There's, a, there's a, a new Peter Bird song coming out. We've got some stuff coming up. So we've got an album, album coming out in about six weeks and a new song coming out in two weeks. Um, so maybe you can, I don't know, intertwine it with that. But that's it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking trying to like drop it at the same time and, and work the two things together. Um, I mean, obviously, if there's any way of actually like linking up for a, a Zoom call with Pete or Baz as well, that, that would be incredible. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we could do that. Spot on. Spot on. Well, I'll give you an email and sort out all the details, send you a few questions that I'm thinking of, and then we can jump on a Zoom or something, or even just over the phone for, for your part and go from there. Um, to be honest, I, I, I was talking to my friend about it and I was talking about, you know, what should I do my next video on, blah, blah, blah. And he sent me a list of things. I think it's just trolling Reddit, basically, and someone's came across it. But all I've got really is, is your website. But I, there's no real way of linking the two from kind of finding, like, watch, watching the content. You know, like, put all the pieces together, I suppose. No, it, it's it's really not. It's yeah. really not. And a lot of the, the conversations online still, you know, seem to think it's the manor or Cass is dead or something that's, you know, running yeah. I know, yeah. I know, I know, I love you that. So, I guess I solved it. You lot on Reddit can stop chatting. Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury are created by the same company. It's more than likely not their vocals on the tracks, and it's more than likely the same vocals for both Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury, but I don't think it's Cass is Dead or The Manor. Or Uncle Bowel from Sindhu World. But I think these guys probably did have some sort of link to the Sindhu World group, because obviously that's the first time Pete and Baz appeared on any public platform. So there's potential that this company actually created Sindhu World, or at least pushed Sindhu World to the next level and tried to make characters out of that Instagram account. And they just took Pete and Baz, pulled them out, and you're taking it to the next level by making all the music videos and curating this whole story, this whole persona for them. That is what I think is the real story behind this. But yeah, that's it. Internet mystery solved. All in a day's work, innit? All in a day's work. If you enjoyed this deep dive video, hit subscribe, we're trying to hit 10K before the end of the year. Uh, follow me on Instagram, you can see me taking my photographs and all the other interesting shit that I do. Um, and yeah, jump in the DMs if you wanna to speak to me. But thank you so much for watching to the end. Let me know in the comments if you're surprised by the truth behind Pete and Baz and Frank and Maury, or if you knew this all along and there was no reason for me to make this video. Anyway, until next time, see you later.